Hello and welcome to our second edition of Art Talk with our artist today, David Kokel. We are here at New Hope Art Gallery and we are sitting in the room part of the gallery that is for the art classes. And so we want to just welcome David. Hello, David. How are you today? Doing well, Ricky. How are you? Good. Um, we're glad that you're here interviewing with us, and we're also glad that you're part of our gallery. Um, David has been showing with us now since the very beginning for almost five years, and um, we're really thrilled to have him. Um, and uh, so why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, David? Well, I've been uh, drawing off and on all my life. I had a brief detour in my 20s when I was, uh, I wanted to become a novelist, but then I gave that up after I could wallpaper my wall with projection slips. So uh, I turned back to drawing, and uh, I've, uh, it's, it's been a wonderful uh, uh, avenue of expression, and it also has allowed me to meet so many new people, and uh, because of some uh, health problems I've had, it's also been a great outlet for not becoming too mired and depressed about those. And uh, sometimes they intrude a bit on the art, but most of the time it is a great release valve and uh, it really is something that allows not only me, but anybody, regardless of whether they're in perfect health or not, to just, you know, really just get out there and express themselves and uh, put something across and communicate, to, you know, thoughts and ideas to the world. Is really, that's, uh, in, that, in my mind, that's what art is all about. It's about communication. That is, it's, it's a great attitude. I think you're right about that. It's so important for everyone to express themselves, and that's part of what we've been doing from the very beginning with New Hope Art Gallery is, is allowing anyone to show their art with us, um, and it started very small and has expanded rapidly and, and very large. We have a very large space. This is actually part of our new gallery at the Cranston Senior Enrichment Center, which we moved into in July, um, and we'll be having our next show in November. Um, and so this has um, been a really big uh, part of our evolving and getting more people involved in the gallery. We're going to start working more with seniors. Um, and I like your attitude, David, that, you know, you're talking about, I think most people, you know, have an outlet. It's nice that people can do that, get out and, and express themselves and meet a lot of new fun people. Um, and so... Well, and I couldn't do it without you. I, I have to just take a moment to also say that uh, you, know, you deserve uh, a huge round of applause as well as everyone who helps out. I hear applause. Is that that must be our lovely applause lady, yeah, no, lovely ba applause lady Barbara, Barbara Rosenbaum? Deserves, she's deserves she's in our back. We'll scan her in the video yes. later. She's she gonna. Her own round of she is my one well. of my assistant curators, and is uh, without her help, this this gallery would not be possible. And and even David volunteers with us. He helps us meet and greet. Um, he does a lot of different things. He listens to me complain a lot, which is always nice. And um, I tend to do a lot of complaining while I'm doing things. So um, so why don't you show us some of your art? I can see that you've got a few pieces on the wall. We're going to kind of pull a little bit of a close-up here so we can get a better look. Okay. And um, why don't you try to explain uh, the thought behind your piece? Well, this piece is H.P. Uh, Lovecraft and his uh, creation, I'm not sure how to pronounce this actually, but I've heard various people correct me on this, but Cthulhu, I guess, is the closest. Uh, but uh, Lovecraft was a, uh, a Providence uh, resident for uh, many, many years, and uh, they actually have H.P. Uh, Lovecraft Square was uh, dedicated to him in Providence just a few years ago, and uh, he's buried here. Uh, he, yes, he's very well known in Rhode Island. Yeah, he's been very influential. Even when I talk to some people who say, you know, who they, and then I describe, you know, uh, a, a book or a movie they may have seen in the interim, they, they get it that his influence has really been uh, as uh, far reaching. And so I'm not, yes, I'm, not a huge, other... I'm not a huge horror fan, but I find his stuff fascinating because it's very uh, uh, psychological and really gets into the to your head as far as, you know, just, you know... Instead of just being scary, the right. thought process behind it. Well, it's even scary for that reason, I think, but he was very interesting, and he's gone through various stages where he's been, you know, in and out of fashion, and, you know, literary critics have called him a hack, and then some have called him a genius, so he goes in and out of 
fashion, but right now... Kind of like us. <laughs> exactly. Well, his star seems to be on the rise at the moment, but I just uh, yes. decided to do a portrait of him with his creation kind of rising well, up in the water. Well, our other assistant curator, Teddy DeLucia, would be very happy because he's a huge Lovecraft fan and, and has a big influence on his work as well. I'll have to have a chat with him. Yes, I think you should. And so let's cut over to this piece here. This is another one of David's pieces. Uh, this is my friend Kat. It's a portrait of her. She's from uh, the uh, Washington State area. And uh, this is a portrait of her with her two uh, pets, her uh, cat and her rabbit, with the rabbit, which you'll be seeing more of in a bit. And uh, actually, that's a great transition. Oh, okay. We're gonna, David's going to show us some of his other work here. I'm going to back up so he can kind of get a little bit of a little bit of room and I'll try to close in on the work. This is my friend Kat's uh, rabbit. Wednesday the 13th, the bunny is the name. That's and the official name? That, that's that's quite the name of the And name. if you, uh, if you come, to, come to one of the exhibits I will, and you're curious, I will explain to you uh, uh, the uh, relevance of that name. But anyway, but uh, that's a drawing I did of her, her bunny rabbit. Uh, I love animals, and I love to draw animals, so uh, that was... Uh, a and maybe great... we'll, we'll get some drawings of your, your cats then. Yes, I, I, if, yes, exactly. Yeah, I, David's I done a few drawings for me. I have, a, I have a wonderful drawing of my two dogs, Lulu and Lenny, when Lulu was a puppy. And I have that hanging on my wall in the bedroom. This is a drawing. Uh, okay, let me try to... get that all right? Yeah, try to turn that the other way towards the... Okay, a little bit. Nope, the other way. This oh, way, because it's reflecting. Okay. There we go. That's that right? good. Yep, that's okay. good. Uh, all my life, my musical hero has been uh, Ian Anderson of Jethro Tull, the flute player. And uh, this uh, is based around uh, a song of his called A Raft of Penguins. Uh, he wrote it because he was uh, about to launch a, uh, a tour uh, that revolved around him uh, feature, uh, fronting a symphony orchestra. And uh, he was a little nervous about it, and he sensed that the orchestra was a little nervous about it. So uh, in the lyrics of this song, symbolically, he likens uh, the or looking out at the orchestra players in their tuxedos as a raft of penguins. So I took the iconic uh, figure of him, which appears on all the tour merchandise of him standing on one leg playing the flute, and uh, I had him playing to uh, a, a trio of real penguins. So oh, great. That's a very... Uh, I, like the, I like your humor in your work. Well, you have, I, I, always have an interesting thought behind everything. It, it's fun, and I'll also a part of my... If I have any philosophy behind my, uh, my art, if, if I can, you know, uh, <laughs> indulge in that term, it's uh, I like to not only do things that are important to me, but I also... Uh, my tastes tend to be very uh, non-mainstream and very quirky and sometimes at gallery exhibits people will come up to me and they'll say explain the, the thought behind this particular piece and I'll explain it to them and they say oh I've never heard of him or I've never heard of that and it's just kind of nice to, I'm not expecting them to go home and become a convert to, or a fan or anything but it's nice to just open up people's uh, minds and just let them know that there's stuff out there that necess doesn't necessarily always get, you know, mainstream, no, notice, mainstream yes. medium attention. There's lots of stuff outside the mainstream which is very, which is thriving and oh. very interesting. And um, Great. Right, well, sometimes you need to look a little further. Yeah. And, and next, then we have, oh, this, I love this one. This is, See, uh, this is what I'm talking about, your humor. Is so so wonderful. As we record this, it is uh, September 2015, and uh, this summer was the 40th anniversary of the movie Jaws. And uh, I always love sharks, so I did a drawing of a shark here holding a uh, a balloon with the Jaws 40th anniversary logo. Just and again, that's just a bit of whimsy, a bit of humor. So, well, it's, uh, I think it's great that you, you can work that into all your stuff because so many times people just draw. This is a drawing of, of a tree, or this is a drawing, mm -hmm. and there's no backstory to it, or there's no. I, I just love that you put so much humor into all your work, and there's always an interesting thought process that goes into everything that you do. Well, thank you. I, I like to think of, there's a story behind every one of my drawings. Might not be an interesting story, but there's always a story. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's always interesting. And so we're going to kind of pan as David gets up and walks through the room because we have a few more of his pieces over on the other wall. And as you can see, this is where the art classes are currently being held. So we have a lot of work in this room. Um, and I won't focus on our lovely assistant, Barbara Rosenbaum, because she'll probably hit me. 
And so why don't you have a seat, and hopefully you'll cover up that that that. I was just going to say this is my lovely. That's his. This is his. Beautiful? This is his new piece, the th mixed media 3D called Purell hand sanitizer. Yes. Okay, we try to have humor here. And so, why don't you tell us about this piece? I know, this is I love another drawing of I my like. friend Kat, although it's not based on any particular pose she ever did. I, I was kind of uh, using her uh, as a goddess of 45s with the uh, 45 records, which uh, people of a certain age will recognize. Younger people might have to I go and say, much what's a 45? <laughs> I'm much too young to remember what a 45 is. I'll, I'd but, like to uh, just say that right but now. But yeah, I just figure, you know, the, she's the goddess of 45s, and uh, there she is uh, working her magic with... Uh, Those are the days, stacks of 45s, you'd have about 50 of them stacked until the, the, the turntable wouldn't spin anymore. Memory lane for some of us folks. And now we have one more piece, and I'm going to try to, there, yeah, we'll kind of get no reflection on it. This is a drawing of uh, Shauna. She's a model, very lovely, and uh, I love drawing this picture. Uh, I loved uh, just putting all the details in, in, in her dress and her hair style, and that was a lot of fun. So sometimes you have to take the pencil away from me because I can linger on some of the details too long. But. Well, that's it. Sometimes we get, we can never, do you have problems finishing your pieces? I tend to say, okay, that's it. It has to stop now. Well, sometimes I'll go back to one and I'll say, oh, I could just tweak one little bit and then I end up ruining it in the process. So there is definitely a time when it's good to just say it's done. <laughs> yeah, and that's when you call me to say stop now. You make it, make it stop and and frame it. But once again, I want to thank you for uh, featuring me and uh, allowing me to be part of uh, your exhibits. And again, the, the hard work that you and Barbara and uh, Teddy and all the rest of the people do uh, is very, very uh, much appreciated. So, uh, well, yeah, well, thank bravo. you. We're glad you're part of the gallery and that you're going to continue showing with us. And um, we currently have this show about 50 people, I think. But it, the, our shows and the shows are going to start getting bigger again. Um, and we do a show every four months. Um, and we try to get as many people in as we can and, and just limit the number of pieces per person. But it's, it's just really like a very large gallery. And as we continue to interview artists, we're going to be taking you through room by room all of the space so you'll kind of get a, an idea of, of what it looks like. So uh, thank you, David, for joining us. And we're glad that our audience joined us for this second video. And we'll be talking to you very soon. Stay, stay tuned to, for more to come. Thank you. Thank you.